Hey guys, took me several weeks, but it's finally done. The RGB Charlie Plexed LED Cube. It's only 4x4. I can't imagine how much work it would be to make an 8x8. But let me plug it in. It's pretty cool. Get a little uh, USB over here for power. Turn out the light, see if it's better. I think it's even cooler in real life. The, vid the video just doesn't capture the glowiness. You know, it's very, very bright in the video, but in real life, it's just very, very calm uh, colors. But. Uh, had a lot of fun, a lot of work, but learned a lot of stuff. I couldn't do it without the help of uh, Ashley Glick, whose uh, very detailed instructions I follow here. Um, this is even his code right here that's doing all this. Um, thanks to John for getting the LEDs from China and uh, all the rest of the Makers Club for helping me with the uh, tips on construction. Uh, this is my first wooden box. I'm pretty proud of it uh, considering it's my first wood working job. Um, but let's go open it up. And unplug it. Made this little uh, holder for a while I was soldering it but we can use it to hold this now. But that is the mess that is inside. I mean, uh, I try to do it as clean as I can, but there are a lot of wires. Uh, there's an Arduino Nano clone here from China. And then the rest of it is just wires. There's no shift registers. There are no resistors even, no transistors, uh, no latches. It's all driven with 16 pins from the Nano directly to all the LEDs that is out there. I think it's pretty impressive that that little tiny thing can drive 64 RGB LEDs. Very cool stuff. Thanks everyone.